Reporting for InfoWars Nightly News, I'm David Ortiz. If someone has been videotaped, it's usually easy to interpret what occurred on film. That's unless, of course, the person who was videotaped was an officer of the law. Meet Deputy Daniel Malux of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. In January 2012, the officer and his partner responded to a call that claimed a woman had attempted to punch a bus passenger in Bellflower, California. The woman who witnesses claimed was clearly mentally disabled was grabbed by the officers and as a result began shouting. Rather than asking the woman to sit down or forcefully making her sit down, Deputy Malux decided to elbow her in the face. An action that witnessed Jeremy Green, a former military veteran, thought was completely abusive. And you can tell it's, it's very obvious that she was uh, special, you know, has special needs. In the Army, they gave us extensive training for rules of engagement. There's, there's proper protocols and different steps you take. This lady didn't do anything. She was not combative, and he actually turned combative on her. Despite this clear abuse, the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office claims that Deputy Malux displayed, quote, a high level of professionalism and used a minimal amount of force, end quote. And if that wasn't offensive enough, it turns out Officer Daniel Malux, who is still on the force, has been involved in two other lawsuits in recent years. One in which he and another officer were ordered to pay an estimated half a million dollars for racially profiling an individual by the name of Adam Allered and a still pending case where Officer Malux and other officers allegedly shot and killed an unarmed 23-year-old by the name of Dexter Luckett. If you would like to see the bus case reopen, reach out to L.A. County District Attorney Jackie Lacey and express your concerns over case number 321-97328. Now let's take a look at another bad cop. Meet Officer Jesse Zilge of the St. Paul, Minnesota Police Department. In August of 2012, he came into contact with Eric Hightower, an individual who had allegedly been making violent threats to his girlfriend. While Mr. Hightower was laying down on the ground, Officer Zilgi took it upon himself to really subdue him by, well, kicking him in the face. Hightower, who was clearly hurt and angered by the brazen attack, was then maced and shoved into a car by several police officers. Recently, Olmstead County attorney Mark Ostrom shockingly ruled that there was insufficient proof the officer used unreasonable force. If you would like to see this case appealed, reach out to the Minnesota State Attorney General's office. It's important to note that there are some officers that condemn their actions. Individuals such as retired New York City police detectives Graham Weatherspoon and Carlton Berkeley, two individuals whose organization, Police Reform Organizing Project, is trying to make the public aware that police abuse is rampant and needs to stop. Under the guise of protecting people, People's rights are being violated. That's why stop and frisk has gotten so big, under the guise of stopping crime. They're not stopping crime, they're committing crimes. If the police officer down is talking to you, I don't see why you can't cut your phone on, right? Film and audio tape the whole encounter. Also, if there's other people standing around, they should do the sa same thing. And if you do that, it will hold up in court. And here's one more hero cop by the name of Deputy Sheriff Stan Lenick of the Albany County Sheriff's Department. In November of 2012, two InfoWars activists named Jason Burmis and Ashley Jessica were visiting the Albany International Airport to hand out anti-TSA flyers. While at the airport, they were harassed by the airport PR director, Doug Myers, who demanded they show him their ID, despite the fact they were filming on public property. That's when Deputy Sheriff Lennick jumped into action and protected their First Amendment rights. Okay, so that we means we're doing it are. for, I yeah. told you who I am. Okay. I am Jason no. Burmes. Let me see your you identification. Clearly, I don't need to show you my identification. He doesn't, he doesn't have to show you his identification. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you I'll show you I identification. I want his name. We I just told you my name. Names, okay? My well, name is told Jason Burmes. B-E-R-M-A-S, sir. I can't give it, I can't give you that. I can't give you that. Okay. To those last few officers, we salute you. Well, that's all for this edition of Bad Cop, Good Cop. I'm David Ortiz, reminding you that we are not against the law enforcement community, just law enforcement abuse.